<gasps> Petrol. It isn't cheap. To understand its price, let's trace it back to its source. Crude oil is extracted from a well on land or at sea and routed to a refinery where it's processed into different products. The petrol and diesel fuel then head for the pump. What makes up the price of a litre of petrol? The price of the crude oil accounts for 30%, including a small amount for the biofuels added to the petrol. The price of crude oil depends on a number of factors – supply and demand, OPEC quotas, speculation, economic, climatic and geopolitical ups and downs, and so on. Since global reserves are limited, in the future the price of crude oil is destined to rise, possibly with sharp fluctuations. In addition, there are taxes on average in the European Union excise duties, which are set at a fixed amount per litre, represent 45% of the price of petrol, plus an average of 20% for the VAT. Lastly, some other small elements make up the remaining 5% of the price, transport of the crude oil, which accounts for 0.4 to 2.5% of the price of petrol, refining around 3%, and logistics, storage and profit margin making up 1%. In Europe, the price of petrol varies because not all the member states tax it at the same rate. To avoid distortions of competition and to discourage people from fueling up in other member states where prices are lower, Europe aims to harmonise the taxation of petrol. But why all these taxes? They're an important source of revenue for the member states, which try to shape consumers' practices by keeping prices high, for example, to encourage public transport. Petrol will remain a costly product and will become very scarce, so let's opt for energy-efficient and less polluting vehicles or alternative means of transport. Everyone will come out a winner.